evening and welcome to Thai PBS World. October the 1st marks the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. It's certainly going to be a closely watched event marked by a series of festivities and a massive military parade. And the occasion also comes amid one of the biggest challenges facing Beijing as the pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong drag into their 17th week. Officially, however, the Chinese government is not in any way allowing the crisis in Hong Kong to spoil what it considers to be its most important day. In Bangkok Thursday night, the Chinese embassy marked the event with a reception which was particularly grand befitting the occasion. It provided Chinese ambassador Liu Jian opportunity to remind his Thai audience and members of diplomatic corps and Chinese community in Thailand of China's long road from its founding 70 years ago to becoming one of the major powers of this modern world. Describing changes that have taken place in China over the past seven decades as earth-shaking, the ambassador noted that China's GDP is now 1,100 times larger than when Chairman Mao declared the founding of the Republic in 1949. As the second largest economy, the ambassador said two-thirds of the world's high-speed rail tracks are now in China. The ambassador also outlined the path China intends to take to become a leader in cutting-edge technologies with 5G technology and artificial intelligence. As the largest trading partner of over 130 economies, the ambassador describes China as a major stabilizer and powerhouse of international economy with the Belt and Road Initiative forming a foundation of cooperation with other countries. Ambassador Jian also used this speech to underline the importance Beijing attaches to Thailand and ASEAN. He described China-ASEAN cooperation as the most successful and most dynamic in Asia-Pacific and pointed out what China sees as the important role played by Thailand in the regional affairs, especially as the country assumes the ASEAN chairmanship. Vowing China's support for Thailand in playing such a role in the region, Ambassador Jian noted that Thailand and China are neighbors enjoying traditional friendship with comprehensive strategic cooperative partnership in many different fields. China's close relationship with Thailand is not limited to only economic and cultural fields or government-to-government -government contacts, but is also symbolized by Chinese leaders' great respect and recognition shown for the Thai monarchy. This week, President Xi Jinping is going to award Her Royal Highness Princess Mahajagri Silinton with the Medal of Friendship in a ceremony in Beijing. Ambassador Jian said, this is China's highest state honor for foreigners, a token of appreciation to the Thai royal family and Her Royal Highness in particular for their long-standing commitment to the development of China-Thailand relations and the manifestation of the special friendship between the two countries. China and Thailand, he said, are marching into what he describes as a new historical stage of development and made a call for them to enhance high-level exchanges and strategic mutual trust with a broad and long-term vision and make China-Thailand relations a model to follow. And the Thai side, meanwhile, did not miss the opportunity at the reception to show their Chinese hosts how much they value Thailand's relationship with China. Speaker Chuan was joined by Senate President Juan Pet Vichitola Chai and their deputies at the function. To Deputy Prime Minister Anutin Chan Virakun and Visnu Krengam, along with a few other cabinet members, were also present. A rather conspicuous presence of high ranking government officials for a diplomatic function. By the way, the Chinese ambassador did mention Hong Kong once in his speech but in the context of wishing his Chinese compatriots on the island, along with those in Macau, Taiwan, and the mainland, a happy National Day. And that's all for Thai Bibes World tonight. Thank you for watching.